You may have heard about the potential wind farm going up in Horse Heaven Hills. Now it's still in the early stages and hasn't yet been permitted, but some residents are determined to prevent this project from going up. Tonight we hear from a group against the wind farm and the people behind the proposal. It's not wanted and it's not needed. Barry Bush is with Save Our Ridges, a group advocating against the Horse Heaven Wind Farm, a 70,000 acre renewable energy project south of Tri-Cities. I'm not aware of any of the utilities that are in need of even one kilowatt of this energy, so it's not going to stay here. One of their concerns, that the energy won't stay local. Javon Smith with Scout Clean Energy, who's in charge of the project, says that's a rumor because they're not yet permitted. It's a very difficult difficult to sell power that hasn't been permitted. Most likely the electrons that we generate will be delivered to businesses and homes in the region. This project has been in the works for some time. They've also done dozens of studies to make sure there won't be an environmental impact. Bush says he understands the need for clean energy sources, but Horse Heaven Hills is not the place. For them, the amount of money that's generated is transformational. Benton County is, we're not desperate for the money. Yet Smith says throughout the project's life, it would generate $260 million for Benton County, with a large portion going to schools. Bush is also concerned that Scout Clean Energy is going with a state approval instead of county. They skipped us, which basically alienated us. We're a pretty big county, Benton County. We can handle, you know, going through a permit process. What we were hearing is that a project of this scope, of this scale, would put an undue burden on local staff. That would be costing Benton County money to process our application. And we really want to be a positive partner. Says the FSEC process actually allows for more community input than the county process. The state will have a hearing here locally on March 30th. But tonight, Benton County commissioners are holding a town hall meeting. You can attend in person or virtually. It starts at 6 o'clock.